Okay, everyone, you're welcome to today's lecture section of the course. And today we are going to be talking about how to use a leverage on social media to amplify your voice. Social media is an amplifier. It's a tool that helps your voice go all out and get to places that you've never been to with your leg before. It gets to put you in front of millions of people that you would ordinarily not have access to. So if you neglect social media in the 21st century, you neglect it at your own period. If you use it wrongly at the 21st century, you use it at your own period. Now, the most important part of social media and social media growth is organic following. I see a lot of people trying to spend millions of naira or dollars on advertising, on getting awareness out there. The easiest way to get awareness out there is by allowing people to do the work for you. How do you allow people to do the work for you? It's by ensuring that the content you put out, out there is relatable. People can relate to it, people love it, people want to talk about it. And that way, every time you put out a content, you get responses and organically your influence grows. You see, when it comes to social media, if you're spending too much on advertising dollars, it means you're doing it wrong. It means you're doing it wrong. There, there comes a time where you need to spend some dollars to get your message out there, to give traction to your message, and to push it out there initially. But if you're doing it every time, and you're doing it every time, in fact, one rule of thumb is that for every $10 you spend on social media marketing, you should be able to get a $100 return worth of exposure. Now, the trick is how do you measure exposure? Most people don't know how to measure exposure, or most people don't have the metrics required in measuring the exposure that is getting from a product. I tell people something, I say there is no such thing as bad publicity. Every publicity is a good one. Every publicity is a good one depending on how you handle it, depending on how you leverage on it. You can turn a publicity that was meant to destroy you into a publicity that would sell you more if you have a, a, a knowledge on how social media and how the minds of people work. So the trick is this, you need to pass your message as though you're not passing a message. Nobody wants to be your messenger. So every time you say, do this, every time you say, do that, except for people that have become loyal to you, you wouldn't get a response from general people that do not know you. But if you give a message or you talk about something that is interesting to them, on their own, they will share your message. On their own, they will spread your message. So you see, the trick is selling a message or giving instructions to people on media to do what they ordinarily will not do without them knowing that you're actually telling them to do something. Now, people like to share messages that reson resonates with them, messages that seems like what they are going through, messages that is controversial, messages that they don't agree with or messages they totally agree with. However, for messages they totally agree with, the tendency to interact is low. So the idea is to find a balance between these four things I mentioned and have a message that rolls all of these things into one and put it out there. You get organic growth. But then there's still the place for paid and sponsored advertising. You can do this by relating with bloggers, you can do this by relating with um, media professionals, you can do this by relating with people that you know have a following across social media. People that have a following already have a fan base of people that are loyal to them. If they tell their fans share this, their fans are ready to share it. If they tell their fans do this, their fans are ready to do this. So if you don't have that number of following, you want to leverage on people that have that valid following on social media. People that already have social currency, I like to call it social currency. Social currency is just like the physical currency of the US dollar that you have. Social currency is the currency of the number of active fans and followers you have across social media that will actually do a thing because you tell them to do it. People that are loyal to your brand, people that are loyal to your product, or people that are loyal to you as a person. That's the social media currency. And social media currency increases or decreases per time. One, it increases when you have lots of people that agree with your message, love your person, or love what you represent. 
So it will increase. They will be loyal to you. They will be ready to share your message part time and get your message amplified. It also decreases when a person becomes unpopular. Be by reason of people no longer liking that person. Nobody wants to touch that kind of person. Everybody wants to avoid it. Social media currency increases when a person becomes controversial. So you see, controversy is two ways. Controversy could make you popular. It could also make you unpopular. It all matters on how you play your cards and how you streamline your story. So I don't want to bore you too much with too lengthy a video, but you just need to know this. Social media today is not a tool anyone wants to neglect. No matter how much skill you have, you need to sharpen the skills in social media. Go attend the course from me, buy one of my social media marketing courses, buy one of my social media knowledge courses, and make life better for you. Social media is not a tool you want to neglect. Everything I get, most times, I get from my social media activities. So imagine if I've neglected social media, no matter how good I am at what I do, without the social media skills that I grew and gathered, I wouldn't be where I've gotten to today. So you need to leverage on that and you need to start building skills in social media. Attend my courses, watch my YouTube videos, watch my YouTube channels, know how to use all of these social media platforms to your advantage and then the sky will be your limit. Do not settle for less. Go global. The only way to go global is to go social. So let's get it done and let me know about your success stories. Share them on my page across social media at FDM Learn. Let me know what life is about with you. Let me know what you're going through and let's make news together. Bye bye for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.